All right, so you're making a game and you want to make like a pickup system where you pick up something. It can either be a flashlight, a torch, a spear, a sword, you name it. I'm going to show you exactly how we can do that. It's really simple and really simple to understand as well. So in this scene, um, I'm going to be working with a flashlight that I picked up from the Unity Asset Store. It's completely for free. I will leave a link in the description if you guys want to use it. It's really cool. It has like flashlights and audio source attached to it so it's really cool um so let's dive straight into this so the first thing i have here my first person controller which i also picked up from the uh, unity ad store it's also completely for free i'll also leave a link in the description first thing i want to do is grab our object that we want to put on our player and i'm going to duplicate this so Control d there we go okay, click and drag and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to child it under our first person controller. So child it, click and drag, drop it in. I'm going to set these values to 0, 0, 0, just so that it's in the middle. I'm going to dock my game view to the right. And really, this is how you want your object to be shown to the player. So I'm going to actually put it up a little bit to the right, a little bit forward, give it a rotation like that, I guess. Maybe a bit up. There we go. This is how I want my object to be shown once the player picked up the item. So, talk it back. This is how it's going to look. Oh, in our object that we're going to be picking up, or actually, sorry, go back in our first person controller and uh, disable the flashlight back in our um, pickup object I'm actually already gonna put a box collider on this make sure your set is on trigger and we're gonna give this I don't know a seven 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 like that then we're gonna create our script now before I even create my script I'm gonna go on to our first person controller and make sure that you have selected under the tags player very important okay so let's create our script c sharp script i'm just gonna call it pick up pick up a flash light there we go we're gonna open it up all right so we don't need our update uh let's get this okay so we're gonna say public game object uh we're gonna say flash lights on layer so in the beginning of our scene just in case we're gonna say is active false then we're gonna create a on trigger stay not the enter the stay and i'm gonna say if other dot game object dot tag is is player do the next thing um so we're gonna say oh, we're gonna use the input system so if input dot get key key code dot e now you can use f whatever that you like so once we click on our you know how we pick up our item we're gonna disable uh, the flashlight that is in the scene. So we're gonna we're just gonna say this dot game object dot set active false like that, and we wanna or actually I'm just gonna copy this line, paste it under, and set it to true. And that is actually it. So we're gonna go back in our scene. Let the uh, script reload. We're gonna click on our flashlight. We're gonna click and drag in our script, and our game object that we're gonna be putting in here is the game object that is the flashlight in our first-person controller. So click and drag it in like that. Let's press on play. This should work. And if I press on E, there we go. The game object is disabled and we have our flashlight 
enabled on our um, player. Okay, if you're already satisfied with this, you can stop, but I'm gonna go a little bit further with this. So, in our canvas, if you haven't already made one, so create UI canvas, or is it canvas, this one. In here, we're gonna create a new UI element, which is a text. I'm gonna say pick up. In here, or actually I'm gonna go into 2D mode, press on F, zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna say press E to pick up, something like that. Now I want everything to be in one line, so I'm just gonna click and drag it and just align it a little bit in the middle. Go in our game view, let's see how it looks. It looks pretty good. Literally, jet is flying over my house right now, but I'm gonna center it. I mean, you can play with these values, it's just like an outline. I mean, we'll create an outline, why not? We'll say one. Oh shit. <laughs> 0 0.2. Yeah, why not? Okay, 0, 0 0.1. There we go. Okay, so go back in our. go to our player. In our flashlight script. Open it back up. We're gonna create another public game. Now you can use uh, like UI elements, but honestly, this is a little bit more simple and it's way easier to understand. So we're just gonna say pick up uh, text. So yet again, same thing. Select false. And what we're gonna do is gonna copy this line, paste it uh, right before the second if. I'm gonna say set it to true. So whenever that we enter the trigger, we wanna pay or you know we wanna enable that text. Just uh, close up the script, go back in our scene. Okay, and we wanna click and drag in our text. There we go. Now if we press play. Now we go in the trigger. It's gonna say press E to pick up. We press E. But now we have an issue, right? The text is not disappearing. Well, very, very simple solution for this is just paste this under here, set it to false. And we're gonna say void on trigger exit paste the exact same code here and make it false. Because if we, let me show you what happens if we don't. Reload the scripts. So if we don't put that on trigger exit, we get this. We go in, we go out and it's, it's there forever. You know what I mean? So if we put it back on, control U, save. All right, and then press, press on E, there we go, that works. And it should also work if I only enter and exit the light. Oh, we out, there we go, look at that, perfect. Okay guys, so that's actually gonna be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and like, I guess more. Now, every time when I try to make a video, my family always interrupts me. So anyways, guys, <laughs> hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and like because more tutorials are on the way.